Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I'm showing you my JLT catch can setup. And what that's all about is inside the actual cam covers, or the crankcase as they call it, a lot of pressure will build up and that pressure needs to be relieved. So the way that uh, the car manufacturers fix this problem is they have vacuum lines go through and um, basically it lets that pressure vent and go uh, back into the engine and that's kind of how they're going around that problem of too much pressure building up. So the bad part is as that pressure's you know, venting from inside the uh, cam covers, that oil vapor will also get sucked into the engine so it'll make your uh, intake really dirty and uh, give you some false readings on your uh, wideband if you have one of those as you're burning some oil as well. So what they have is a catch can set up and the idea is to catch the oil as it's going through. And so I'll show you how I have this one installed. Right here is the catch can itself and I usually have it zip tied to here. I didn't want to drill the holes in it like they suggest just because I don't want to do that to the car. But um, basically you have coming from the actual cam cover you have a line and where that goes into the uh, catch can, I'll show you here. I have it pretty much undone so I could easily show you. There's nothing really in it right now anyway. Let's set that aside. But basically the line that's coming from the cam cover, you want that one to be plugging in here on the bottom so that it drips directly so if you can see it's coming from the cam cover and we'll go and drip directly into the catch can on this hole that's on the right. So then as uh, the supercharger basically or the intake manifold depending on your setup is breathing the, the air back into the intake, you want that to be on the side that has the filter. So the oil drips down into the catch can and then as it's being sucked back up, it gets caught in this filter and then the air will follow through and go back into the intake manifold. Okay, so that's the basic setup. You're, you're just trying to trap that oil as it's in the air mixture and it's doing so by going through that filter. Now, um, the way that you have this set up, you want to make sure uh, you don't just plug these into either either side as you can see it is specific for which side it's exiting and leaving and it can look kind of confusing on camera so I'll screw this back in over here in a minute but I'll just show you on the passenger side I have what they call a pre-filter it's a JLT pre-filter and I actually bought this piece used and so I had to go out and get my own 90 degree elbow but it just basically pops directly into the cam cover as well and I don't know if you can see down in there, but it's the same thing. It's just a mesh screen that's catching the oil as it's being sucked into the intake. And that's a really simple installation. You just unplug it, unplug your factory hose, and put this one in its place. So that's how it's venting the pressure on this side. And as you can see, it's venting the pressure by bringing, uh, you know, as the air is, as the engine's sucking in the air, it's bringing that air into the intake. So with that filter in place, it'll trap most of that oil. And then on this side, it's uh, an actual catch can that, uh, there's not really much in here. I haven't driven the car too much. A little bit of oil in there. But uh, it's not a bad thing if it fills with oil, but you do want to make sure that you uh, dump the oil out so it doesn't overflow and then uh, <laughs> have oil get sucked into your engine. Now an alternative to this, uh, there's several kits out on the market, but some of them that you'll see is just a little baby filter. It looks like a car's air filter, and they're just called breathers, and they just stick on each of those open uh, ports there on the cam covers. And they also work, however, uh, if you watch some videos under some wide open throttle pulls, you'll see the filter mist as the pressure gets uh, pretty high and so it can put an oily surface you know oil all over the engine uh, a lot of people say if they just wipe it down after each run they're okay and they haven't had too much trouble with it but anyway that's just another alternative 
So I'm gonna go ahead and screw this back on. But once again, I just wanted to show, because even JLT's uh, install video didn't really show it that well from the bottom. They just showed hooking the hoses up. You wanna have the line that's coming from the actual cam cover. Okay, sorry if you couldn't follow it there. But you want that one to come and drop directly into the can. And then you want the side with the filter to be the one that goes back into the intake manifold. So anyway, that's how I have the catch can set up on this car. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop them in the comments section. Thanks for watching, guys.